You see this goal that you want to achieve? It's it's obtainable, you know, but <laughs> are you willing to kill yourself to get it? Do you ever start your week and you have everything planned out, all these goals, all these ambitions that you're just going to get done and you're motivated to actually get the week started on a Monday? I know. Happens every once in a blue moon, huh? Well, I actually had a whole video planned out that I was going to do like a self challenge for myself of making a certain amount of money within seven days without resting, no days off type vibes, you know. I was ready to get to the money. Didn't go how I planned out at all. I mean, I thought the world was crashing down. I was like, why me? I had this goal for myself that I was going to make $1,000 in seven days um, just driving Uber Eats. Uh, not having people get in my car or anything. Just solely to see if I could do it. Just delivering food. I did the math. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. You know, I'm not the best mathematician or anything. Do have an English degree, but you know, when it comes to math, correct me if I'm wrong. I needed to make around $142 and some change every day for seven days in order for me to hit $1,000. So I was like, okay. I'm able to make a $100 in a day, you know, multiple times throughout a normal week. Let's just see if I could do it for seven days straight. Well, plus an additional $42. So I was ready to go ahead and do that. I was very gung-ho about it. I was excited. I knew that I could get it done. So on day one, everything's going smooth i'm getting rides here rides there rides here rides there pretty much in a little wait time for me to get my money i'm not sitting in my car waiting you know i'm pretty much getting rides back to back to back great i like being busy no one likes sitting in their car waiting for opportunities right so at the end of day one i ended up reaching or exceeding my goal just by a couple of dollars or whatnot. I ended up making like $150 instead of the $142 or 143 that I needed to make. So I'm amped. I am ready. I am excited for day two because day one went smoothly, right? So day two comes. It's not going as good as day one. It's creeping along. It's like, hmm, do we want to give her a ride? Mm. She looks so calm and peaceful in her car. So, yeah, they did me wrong on Tuesday. And my motivation started to decline. I'm telling you, I was like, <sighs> we can get through this. So, I say it's okay. Day two. I ended up making $125 more or less. Fuck! Day two, I ended up not reaching the goal. I still ended up making over $100, but the goal was $142. I didn't reach the goal on day two. But I was trying to be mindful and appreciative of how much I did make. Because normally, on my regular weeks, I work part-time, so... I'm able to do $100 a day and I'm like, okay, cool. I can go home and focus on my online business now because I don't like to spend all day on the road. But I mean, ironically, this week I tried to. So, didn't hit the goal on day two, but you know, I'm still trying to be optimistic. I say, hey, it's only day two. I have five days left to correct this and maybe put in a little OT and make up for it you know so here comes day three I am you know ready I'm trying to put in the work I'm 
driving around, dropping off food there, dropping off food there. But hey, is it as fast as Monday? Nope. You see, I think Monday they got my hopes up. They were like, you see this goal that you want to achieve? It's it's obtainable, you know, but <laughs> are you willing to kill yourself to get it? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So day three comes. I end up doing worse then day two but mind this mind this mind this check this out check this out end up doing worse than day two but i ended up putting in more hours on day three than i day did on day two but i made less money so again again i'm trying to be optimistic and say hey you did put in the work you stayed out there the hours you know that you did on monday and tuesday you know but hey maybe today just wasn't your day and i'm like what do you mean today wasn't my day again again so i'm like hey it can't it just can't keep going this way right like you don't just start up here and then just keep trickling on down right so <sighs> apparently you do thursday I go back out there on the road. I say, hey, I'm not going to give up. I set a goal. I want to reach it. I'm going to do everything that I can to get there. So I go back on the road, dropping off stuff here, dropping off stuff there. I even try to take the initiative to do things responsible, like get my car maintenance since i am driving around doing deliveries you know using up gas putting on miles on my car you know so i decide hey why not stop by jiffy lube and top up my fluids you know i look up at my jiffy lube sticker and it says at ninety six thousand miles i needed to go back you know and i said hey i'm at ninety five thousand. why not go get topped up so I go get topped up, right? I'm feeling good about myself. I'm saying, hey, I'm taking care of my car. I'm out here making money. You know, I'm trying to send myself good vibes, you know. But I guess I'm just being too controlling. You know, when you have a goal or you have a prayer or you have something that you want, yes, you do pray for it. Yes, you do think about it. You do manifest it but then you also have to be able to say hey i want x y and z and then let it go and let the universe take control give control more to the universe and that's not what i was doing i was giving way too many fucks and i was trying to you know control a little bit here control a little bit there and i wasn't just and letting it come to me so you know what they said you said they said hey slow down now slow slow down now we get we get where you're trying to go we get that you have a goal that you need to achieve but you're not going about it the right way so after i go to jiffy Lou, i'm driving a little bit i probably drive less than a mile then my tire pressure light comes on out of nowhere. Was it on before I got to Jiffy Lube? No. But anyway, I take my car to America's Tire because that's my tire, folks. So I let them, you know, drive my car on in, look up under it, dee dee doo doo doo. They pretty much say, your tires are fine. There just must be something wrong with your sensors. I say, okay, thanks, just wanted to make sure. They made, they reset my tire pressure light thingy and I go on about my business to get some more rides so that I can make some more money. Because at this point I'm like, I'm really going to have to put in overtime this weekend if I want to achieve my goal. At this point, I should probably be around $600 ish and I'm only at 400 and a half, almost $500. So Friday comes and i'm a little slow to leave the house and i'm kind of debating 
on if I want to drive a later shift because normally I was leaving the house around between 9.30 and 10.30 in the morning and getting home between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. But Friday morning, my body was... So I ended up getting out of the house. I do my trips. It's slow. At this point of the week, I'm just like, this didn't go as planned at all. And then I'm just like, well, you know, next week is a Proposition 22 guaranteed Uber payment week. So they're going to pay you anyway. But I'm like, but I wanted to make $1,000 this week. I wanted to make $1,000 this week. I had plans for that money already. I specifically set up this goal for myself for those plans that I wanted to spend the money on already. And that's probably where I went wrong. So, Friday is going, pushing through. I'm pushing through, trying to make as much money as I can. And then I get ready to wrap up. And literally, on my way home, I'm sitting at a red light. I'm probably like two minutes away from my house. I'm sitting at a red light. The cars are going, you know, in front of me, turning off the highway, going onto the highway, things like that. And I'm sitting at a red light waiting to go straight. I'm sitting in my car. My brain shows me that that light turned green. And what did I do? I put my foot on that gas and I started going. Why? Because the light turned green. Until I looked at this car that was coming off of the highway. And he was looking at me like, bitch, have you lost your mind? And I looked at him. And my eyes glanced back up at the red light. And I stomped on my brakes. I said, And then that's when I knew I needed to get my ass up in the house. So I go home and I'm just like, what a week. Nothing is seeming to go as planned. I thank God for getting me home safely because I was losing it clearly so i ended up filming the rest of this video at another time just because of how drained i was from that week we left off on friday literally the next day on saturday i already didn't want to like i was already like so unmotivated to continue the week because i knew that i wasn't going to, to finish the goal however i'm a money maker i'm a go-getter so i'm pretty hard on myself when i take days off I'd rather make some money than no money, right? So, I leave the house on Saturday, even though my body is telling me, girl, stay in the house. Or at least I tried to leave the house on Saturday. What actually ended up happening was I went to my car. I thought that I pressed the unlock button. I opened my doors. And I pressed my push to start button. And nothing happens. My car is not starting. Saturday my car went to start so I didn't make any money through uber on Saturday I also took the day off on Sunday because I needed to figure out what was going on with my car Saturday my husband had our other car and he was at work so I just went ahead took Saturday off got my mind right pretty much what I learned from this was when I go out there part-time for me I ended up making more money than when I try and plan it and go out there and wait around driving in different areas wasting my gas and stuff that's a waste of my time and I had to remind myself I'm not a full-time uber driver and that's not what I'm striving to be I drive these people are driving crazy but yeah I'm not striving to become a full-time uber driver I do uber part-time when I want you know to make extra money to help me pay bills and to fund my business you know my online business and so that's where my focus is mainly is making money to help me fund my online business and that's what I use uber for I know that it could be done literally last Thursday I'll show you guys a screen recording of it but I literally made over three hundred dollars in one day and I pretty much made the exact amount or close to what I made in one week 
driving less than I made the week that I was trying to make that a thousand dollars so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that you know you're not gonna achieve every goal that you set out you know to achieve but that doesn't mean that you stop setting goals you know take notes learn and see why you didn't reach that goal and adjust that goal you know to something that's more reachable for you don't be down on yourself like I was down on myself you know by day two day three of that challenge I was already you know beating myself up and that wasn't being good energy into my challenge you know so if you made it this far in the video you know I appreciate you no really I appreciate you give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't I'll be back love you